that the cloud has come into existence and we're personalizing learning, there's information about the student then that has to go out so that the right stuff can come back in. We decided we needed a process where teachers were being reflective in picking out supplemental resources on their own. In the beginning, it was just full of the kids just doing Google search. It was very chaotic because we didn't have a lot of the tools that we currently have in place. We were limited in the resources that we would use with students because we didn't have a way to get those resources to the students. We had folders in different places and we shared paper copies, we shared uh, emails with attachments. We had a lot of web shortcuts in folders on district shares and things like that. If I needed to do my lesson plans, it was at school, and then maybe I would email at home or, you know, and have that game of run around. Yes, we're at school as administrators for 10 hours a day, but then when we go home, we have additional work. ClassLink is a great one-stop shop. It is where all staff and students automatically start when they turn on the computer. They can reside in that ecosystem all day. It's a place where we can send our staff and students that they know to check there first to find a resource. So it provides fast and easy access to those resources. So that I have more time freed up to do the people part of my work. Now it's like I have access to all these things no matter where I am. If it's not on ClassLink, the teachers aren't as apt to use it because they do know that that's where they look and they kind of forget about it if it's not there. And for first grade, it's vital because them logging in is, is very difficult. So if they can log in once and then have access to Brain Pop Junior or Pebble Go, things like that, they don't have to log in again. ClassLink has been a really great partner for us beyond the app. We want to make sure we're transmitting data securely. We want to make sure that third party vendors are committed to using our student data appropriately, disposing of it when they're done with it. So we developed a vetting process as well for what resources would go on ClassLink that should be shared out with everybody. When we're doing a software acquisition form and they say that they use one roster, I know, awesome. That's one less thing for us to worry about. The My Files feature inside of ClassLink has really made offsite access easier to the hard drives back at school. When a question comes up, how often is a resource being used? ClassLink Analytics is where we go first. It's a pretty accurate gauge of how popular the resource is. It helps us drive decisions of what resources to keep and ones we might need to let go. What's really interesting is we had a snow day last year and we looked at our stats and we had hundreds of students accessing ClassLink on a snow day. We have limited time to work with children in their learning, and so we always want to maximize that time. ClassLink provides that opportunity for students.